can't do it with you peeping over my shoulder. Like a little peeping Tom. Don't hit me. <laughs> stop. Mark, please stop. Come on, come with it. Right, this morning we are going to do a bit of maintenance on the boat and we are going to start with cleaning the chimney. So we're going to show you how to do that. No, first things first, you've got to remove this guard okay. and it just lifts up like that and out it comes. That's the first thing you do. Okay. The second thing you do is you should have fire bricks in your um, fireplace. I don't think everyone box. has. No, but if you can get fire bricks, go for it because what it does is it reduces the spread of the coal in the fire which intensifies the fire in the middle of the firebox um, it just means you get a brighter and um, a stronger burning fire um, and also you use less coal as well okay so just reach in and you'll they, they only sit in there loose so they're not glued in or anything and out they come that's what they look like make sure you get some newspaper down because I think you need to do the other side one first. Yeah. And then the back one just falls forward. And then out she comes. Now. Give it a bit of a sweep, maybe. Yeah. Although, yeah. we're going to pull a load of soot down it in a minute. We are. So this is what the inside of the fire looks like. And you can see up there there's a thing called a baffle board and it's this thing here and that needs to be removed if you're going to sweep the chimney properly because what happens is if you just sweep the chimney all of the soot and the ash falls down and sits here on the baffle board at the top and of course when you light a fire the danger is is that the fire then because the heat goes through there and out the chimney and the danger is is the fire then catches with the soot and the ash and you end up with a chimney fire. So you need to remove the baffle board before you sweep the actual chimney. If I remember correctly, this thing should slide out. There we go. Looks a bit messy, but there is a technique to this, he says. He just hasn't got it. No, I just haven't got it. <laughs> Okay, so we've managed to wiggle the baffle board free and out it comes. It's a large metal plate. And you can see it's covered by a whole year's worth of soot and ash. So, need a bit of a clean. So the baffle board is out, the grate um, that sits at the front is out. All the fire bricks are out. All the fire bricks are out. We have found we've got a broken one so we're going to need to repair right. that one. We are. Okay, so the baffle board's out. When you take the baffle board out you need to take out, there's a, there's, your fire will have a very um, thin layer of fire brick, it's like a protection against the metal, and that sits inside the firebox and the baffle board sits on top of that. So you need to take the fire brick out on one side so that you can then angle the baffle board down, twist it and pull it out. If you leave the fire brick in then you can't get the baffle board out because the baffle board just sits on this lip and won't move. So we've done that. Obviously as you can see we've got a crack on our... It's not a major problem because it's, it knits back together again but really we should get some um, specialist cement and mend the two bricks, which we will do. Of course, now, so now the baffle board's out, the next thing to do is to shut your fire. Remember to shut your fire because if you sweep the chimney, all of that soot's going to come down and land in that bowl and you're going to get a very, very dirty um, puff of smoke or puff of dirt coming out. So if you shut the fire, then it contains all of the soot. <laughs> Right, we're ready for the roof. Okay. Most boaters... <laughs> Look at that brush. Yeah, it's looking a bit sorry for itself, but... Most boaters will be carrying one of these. Um, it's basically like a giant bog brush. 
you know, um, the metal handle can be stretched and twisted and bent to whatever shape you want. But essentially, that is your standard. Does um, the job, I suppose. Yeah. Looks like we could do with a new one. Yeah, it's your standard um, narrowboat stove chimney sweeping brush. It's like a hedgehog. It does. Uh, so let's get to action on the roof. Okay, so you join me on the roof. I've already removed the chimney, so uh, we stored that separately somewhere else. I will sweep that again um, separately. But now, I'm going to insert this into this. And you can see it's just the right size there. I wonder if we can have a look at it before you put it. Yeah, sure. See if there's anything in there. Can you see all the, um, all the soot that builds up in there? Is there anything? Yeah, it's loads. So let's push this in and down we go. Chim chimney, chim. That's at this point you have to sing <laughs> a Dick Van Dyke song. So you see, there it goes. All the way down. That's it. All the way down. Could you feel it coming out the other end? Yeah. A bit of resistance there, but that's okay because that just means that it's scraping the chimney clean. The last thing you want it to do is to slide up and down without removing any of the soot. See how far it goes down? See how far? And then we'll give one more sweep just for luck. Stand back because there might be a bit of ash. Oh, oh. there we go. A bit of rust. That's, that's, well. that's coke. What was that? Yeah, that. Okay. It's black. How's that looking better? Much better. You can see all of the, the build up is gone. In fact, you can see the dust yeah, from out. the soot coming out the top of the chimney. So we'll give all that a good old clean. Yeah, I'll we'll give it a little bit of a. We could probably do with Watch blacking. This. Watch this. Thanks for that. Sorry. She got me. <laughs> Did that on purpose, I'm sure. No. Mm, I know. I think we might need to get ourselves a new brush. Mind you, we did inherit this one, didn't we? We did. That's better. That's much better. Right, so you film it now. Hopefully it's cleaner. Stored that away for the winter. It's looking pretty bad at the top because it hasn't had a cowl on it. So if you can, make sure you get a cowl for your chimney. That is the most one, important thing, isn't it? Because number one, it protects the metal whack because the rain doesn't get in. Number two, the rain doesn't get into the chimney. And number three, if you look here, up close, that is the ceiling. And what happens is if you don't have a cowl, the rain comes down the chimney and sits on this little shoulder here. And you end up with a bit of a messy looking... Rusty patch. Yeah, rusty patch. So, kids, get a cowl. <laughs> what have we got to do, Mark? Get a cowl. Yeah. I know. <laughs> right, so you've got to put the chimney on. So, all that does is slots in like that. And bingo. Done. We're ready for a fire. Okay, so, do you remember I said before that we should shut this door because of all the ash that's gonna fall down and the soot? Should we have a look and see how much 
there actually is inside the fire bucket. Oh dear, look at all that. And the thing about this is it's a simple job to do, but actually it's probably one of the biggest fire risks on your boat. Because all of that was in the chimney and the flue, and if I lit a fire tonight, all of that is a candidate for going up in smoke. And you see and hear lots of commentaries and stories on the social media pages about people that have had problems with their chimneys, especially chimney fires. So if you want to avoid a chimney fire, sweep your chimney. You should do it at least once a year. I'm going to speed this bit up as well, so I'm not worried about it being too fancy, if that makes sense. So once you've put the baffle board in, which you can see at the top there, it needs to sit on those two grey fire bricks up there at the edges. Then you need to replace your, if you've got additional fire bricks, you need to replace those as well and put those back in. And that's what the inside of your fire should look like once it's been swept.